I'm Dave Webster. I'm uh, head of international for the Musicians' Union. Prior to that, I was a freelance percussionist and drummer, working in various portfolio career as musicians have, uh, and an activist for the union. So I've been involved since well, way back. Well, CITES, the control of endangered species, uh, international trade in endangered species is what CITES stands for. That affects our members because a lot of musical instruments have things like elephant ivory, which is now under the elephant ivory ban in the UK. So we managed to get a exemption for musical instruments of a certain era that might have uh, ivory in them. So that's been protected, which we're very pleased about. But also it means that musicians now need to get musical instrument certificates in order to be able to cross borders with their instruments if they have endangered species in there. And there's a big suite of information on our website about that. In terms of the International Federation of Musicians that the MU is affiliated to, we do a lot of work with them. That breakthrough I was talking about that we had for portable musical instruments was through conversations I had with my colleagues over in FIM in Paris and they then spoke to the EU and we managed to get some, some work going. So as far as the UK is concerned, we work with UK Music and Live. Um, Music Managers Forum, Featured Artists Coalition, you know, all these industries have come together since Brexit to try to form sort of one robust voice for creative industries and for musicians to be able to go to government and say, look, we need to, we need to get some changes built in. And hopefully that will happen over the next couple of years as we move towards the review of the Trade and Cooperation Agreement in 2026. The more information we have from musicians, from members, about their experiences when, when working overseas, the more we can take to government and say, look, this is still a real problem. We are aware that there are some instances where things have gone smoothly. You know, musicians have maybe got all the paperwork in place, they've done a lot of planning, everything's gone smoothly. We'd like to hear about that as well. And we also want to hear about things that haven't gone smoothly and where the, where the pinch points really are. So there's an email address, eutouring at the mu.org, which comes into my inbox so I can monitor that. So we'd really encourage people to get in touch and let us know how they're getting on.